Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Audrey Elise, and today I am going to be doing my natural hair hair routine. So let's get into it. So what I'm going to be using today is the LUS brand of Love Your Curls. And I'm telling you guys, I have never used a product that has worked as good as this has. There's, I mean, there's been products that have They've been okay, they've been okay. But this, I'm telling you, it's all I need. I don't need gel, I mean, I don't use hairspray anyways, but I don't need any of that. Um, this is everything I need. It's literally all of that. They have shampoo and conditioner, but I just use this and it's really all I need. It works so good. So this is what we're gonna be using. First off, I'm gonna be putting a couple pumps into my hand. Sometimes I have to bring the pump back up for it to work. I don't know what happened to this bottle. And then I'm gonna rub it in my hands and put some on the top over here. Put some on the top over here and put some on the underside and on the underside. And this is not the only thing I'm doing. I use more of it, but this is just to start me off. And then before I go back to pump it again, I wipe it back on my head because, you know, the product gets all on your hands and then it gets all on the bottle, which is kind of annoying. Then it makes it slippery and it's hard to pump, so I usually just wipe my hands off before I get another pump. Next, I'm going to put some on the back here and put some on the back ends of my hair, back here. And then I'm just gonna rub it through my hair, wipe it all through like I'm kind of slicking back a ponytail. I'm just working the product through the top part of my hair. Okay, next, since I'm going to get the middle and the underside of my hair, I'm going to split it down the middle like this, right like that. So you can see that this didn't get very much product, if any product at all, because my hair with all the curls, it makes it more thick. I'm gonna do, is do a little spray of water right there to help get some of that back. I'm gonna put one pump in my hand, rub it together and put it like that. there put my hair back over and then just kind of pinch my hair between my hands and just pull it through and we're gonna do the exact same thing over on this side we're just gonna put it down the middle right here you can see my scalp right there I'm gonna put one pump in my hand and do the exact same thing work it through on the bottom half and then rub it a little bit on the upside and back over and then work it through sometimes I put my fingers through like this but not too much because I don't want to really wreck the curl pattern that I have and I forgot to mention that I had already parted my hair in the shower so I wouldn't have to do it now and it wouldn't make my hair frizzy at all so it helps a lot if you already part it in the shower now I'm going to get the underside on the back of my hair so I'm just gonna do the same thing I have been doing grab a section flip it up you can see here Here's that part, it doesn't have any product. Going to do again, one pump. Sometimes I add more, it just depends. But do, I use both hands on the bottom here and then whatever's left on top because it's such a wide area. There we go. And I'm going to do it again up here. It's up higher. I can get it one second. This doesn't have as much product either. And I'm going to do not a full pump really, but more of a half a pump for this section. And sometimes if you have to respray your hair, that's perfectly fine too. It helps to be able to get some of the product. It helps it to be able to soak into your hair. Now what I do a lot of times is because there are some really defined curls like right here and right here, I'm going to 
wet this area down. And then I'm going to put like a half a pump of product in my hands. And I'm going to put it specifically right here on this area. And over here, you can already see the curls starting to take form where I just had sprayed the water right there and I had just put the product. But over here, I have some really cute baby hairs that I like to twist around my finger if you can if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. But the twisting of the curls right there really helps for me personally. I just do this with a bunch of the little curls on my hair. And that is all that I do with the product wise, putting it in and everything. And I don't always use a blow dryer, but sometimes I do. It really depends on if I'm going out somewhere or if I'm just like staying around the house, but I'm gonna blow dry it for you guys today. And the settings that I use for the blow dryer are on hot and high power. Another thing that I do with the blow dryer, once I get um, all the outside done, I usually stand up, flip my head over, and put it up going at my hair, which I'm gonna show you right now. And that was a quick version of how I blow dry my hair. And normally it takes longer than that, but for the video, had to cut it short. You know, you gotta be really careful with the blow dryer. Make sure you don't hold it on a spot for too long because that'll just lead to more uh, heat damage of your hair. I don't usually blow dry it fully. I Sometimes I do, but a lot of times I leave it to where it's still a little bit wet so that it can just dry the rest on its own. And then it'll look even better than what I think it does now. But for me, it's pretty simple. That's literally all I do. And like I said, the LUS brand Love Curls is literally my favorite hair brand, like in the world. It's my favorite. All right guys, so my hair has taken a lot longer to dry now, which I think once it does, it looks a lot better. And you can see the back too with this. Put the mirror there so you can see the back. It is so just bouncy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye.